Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video. And uh, I didn't find too much this week, but still got enough stuff to show you. So we're going to go ahead and do a video. Um, first off, I just wanted to crack these two. Um, as you may or may not know, I collect this casting of Auto World um, Premium Series. This is the 76 Firebird, which there's also a 75 Firebird, which they're very, very similar, but um, actually a little bit different than each other. Uh, so just real quick, I'm going to show you the ones I already have loose. So this is a blue one. This one is a 75 Firebird. Blue. This is a 75 Firebird and silver. And this one, actually, that just got released this year is the 76 version. And the difference is, just real quick, if I can show you, mainly, the main difference is the bumper. Okay? So you can see that difference there. Um, I don't think the rear has too much different with it. Ah, the bumper's different on the rear, too. So other than that, these things are like the same casting. Um, <clears throat> so that one came out this year. Uh, this one came out a couple years ago, or last year, I think, maybe this brown one, and then I've got a white and a red one. Now, I think the only one I'm missing is the black one that was released as this one's counterpart, so, and this one in Series 2. This one's in Series 3, um, which I believe this is in Series 3, this is Series 3. Um, I think these are actually Series 5, and I think this is Series 6. I'm not really sure, but anyway, there's a bunch of them out, and I think the only one I'm missing as far as regular ones from old stuff is the uh, black one that would be the counterpoint part, part to this one. And of course I'd like all the ultra reds too, but um, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just crack these two um, open. I've had them for a while, but I uh, just want to add them to the loose collection. So I'm going to crack that open. And of course is these Auto World License Premium cars all came with a case. There's the red Firebird. Looks really sweet. Pretty awesome. Really cool. So there's that to add to the collection. And uh, let's see here. Save the case. And then we got the white one. We'll pull open real quick. There's that. white firebird with the chicken on the hood so there we go so now i have one two three four five six of these loose all different colors um one oddball thing to note about this yellow thing it doesn't have a firebird on the on the hood you'll notice now the alternate color of this one which is like a lime green does have the firebird on the hood um, however, there is going to be Walmart exclusives of this car that's got the Firebird flipped. So the Firebird will be on this one and not on the green one. So there's actually going to be four of these different versions of this vehicle to collect, um, two of which can only be found at Walmart. So, yeah, if you got that, I don't know. Okay, so this one doesn't have a Firebird on it. The green one does have a Firebird on it that I don't have. And then the Walmart exclusives of those two... The yellow one will have the Firebird on it, and the green one will not. So that's how that goes. But you can find just the regular ones there, too. And I don't know what they're doing with the Ultra Reds or the Chase versions of those, but anyway, that's the scoop on that. Um, so I'll be after those. I'll probably buy every version of it just because I love this casting. My favorite Auto World casting. Um, my second favorite would probably be the GT for GT40, but this one's definitely my, my fave. So there's that. So there's some Firebirdery for you. Um, now that we got that out of the way, I'll show you a custom that I made this weekend. I threw this together kind of Thursday night. I had off of work on Friday, so Thursday night I got to just hang out to myself and kind of just work on some customs, or at least I worked on this custom. Um, sweet little Porsche. This one, uh, all I did was take the tampos off of it. I did not paint it. It's got kind of this nice kind of sparkly orange color to it kind of flubbed up the uh, the paint a little bit on the side while removing the tampos, but turned out okay. Threw some NASCAR wheels on it, and of course, this one's got headlights. So, shared it on my Instagram that night. 
And there she is. This is kind of a cool one to do. Rolls real nice. Looks pretty cool with these headlights. So there's another LED headlight custom for you. Uh, this one's pretty neat. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. If I am going to take it apart again and just paint it or if I'm going to leave it like this and just detail it. I'm not really sure at this point, but won't get to work on it for probably a week anyway. But there it is. Uh, so there's that. So I'll quickly, yeah, I'll just leave that on for now. We'll just let it sit right there. And then uh, went to Walgreens, found the Gran Turismo set, the rest of it anyway. Um, still have not found a double of this Jag. I want to get another one to have loose, so this one will go, this one's on a pretty mint card, so it's going to go in my carded collection, so this will go with the set I have carded, um, and then I found all these doubles here to crack for you, so I know you guys have, a lot of you have seen these already, but here's the Aston Martin 177, go ahead and crack one of those, I have one of those loose, looks pretty nice. Got some headlight tampos, nothing on the rear. So I'll add that one to the, the loose collection of these. I wanted a set carded and a set loose, and they're only a buck a piece, so it's affordable to do it that way. Here's the GT4 uh, GT LM. Go ahead and crack that open. This one's not cracked clean. This one's really sweet. Got like a matte black finish. It's pretty cool. I uh, really dig this casting. So this one's got tampos on the front, nothing on the rear, but pretty sweet. So I'll go ahead and add that to the loose collection. And we got the Pagani Huayra. This one's pretty neat. This one's got some really nice tampos on it. And here that is in blue. Looks really nice. You got headlight tampos, and there's also tampos on the rear. For the signature exhaust that it's got, the little quad exhaust that comes right in the center there. It says Pagani there. It's pretty sweet. This one actually might be my favorite of the bunch as far as how well done it is. So I just think it looks really awesome. These cars are really cool. So there is your Pagani Huayra. And there's that. And then we got the 05 Dodge Viper SRT10. Crack that quick. So there's that guy. This looks pretty nice too. All of these are done really, really well for a dollar a car series. So cannot be upset with any of them. They all look really, really good. There's the Viper. And we got the Aventador Lamborghini. Oh, let me get that open. There's your Lamborghini. Pretty cool. This one's got headlights, nothing on the tail, but pretty good looking, pretty nice looking Lambo. Um, last week, I already cracked the uh, this one that I found, this other Lamborghini. So just there that is again, just to show you it. Really nice, it's got detail on the back, detail on the front, so it's pretty cool. And then, of course, everybody's favorite, or what a lot of people are after, of course, is the Skyline GTR. So, found a few extras of these. And these can be found at your Walgreens, so check your Walgreens for them. But this one's done up really nice as well. You got rear detail, you got front, well, not really front detail, but at least it's got a hood tampo. Looks nice. Really nice presentation of this car, so it's pretty cool to have. So there's that, and then other than that, uh, let's see, oh, I found the Halloween Bone Shaker. I picked up one of those, so that's pretty cool to have and then I got uh, my mom actually went to Eagle River or my mom and dad did and they went to some thrift store there and picked me up a couple of Johnny Lightnings that they found in there this one's got a uh, Mario Super Smash Brothers and it's uh, El Camino I think yeah I think it's an El Camino so that's pretty sweet and then also picked me up the Partridge Family Bus which has done really well too. This is a Plain Mantis era Johnny. Pretty cool. So there's that Partridge Family bus. This is really nice. It's not a huge card though. So, but still pretty cool. And uh, then she grabbed me for whatever reason these pens. <laughs> 
It's a pen uh, with wheels on it, and it they do roll. And if you use, uh, you can kind of use the uh, whatever the little click action thing to uh, shoot the pens. So yeah, there's those. And uh, so that's kind of neat, whatever. And uh, that's it. So pretty much it for this week. That's all I got. Um, so we cracked some Firebirds. I kind of explained that Walmart exclusive thing. That's probably really confusing. You have the Firebirds on one and not on the other. And then it's flip-flop for the Walgreens. Or Walgreens. Walmart exclusive. And uh, that's probably the highlight there, that custom. Pretty happy with the way this little thing turned out. Didn't paint any detail or do any paint at all on it actually yet. So we'll see what I do with this. But um, there that is. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for joining me on these little weekly videos. Um, hope to have some casting reviews maybe out this week. We'll see. And uh, otherwise, there's just recolor updates. I've been spamming your feed. And that's pretty much it. So you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching.